Chats here in downtown Toronto with writer, director, producer Douglas Aerosmith. What inspired you to get into the business? I, it was a convoluted story because I started my career actually as an academic and I was doing a bunch of field interviews with famous Canadians. Uh, and it was at that point that I realized there was something in the interview moment for me that mattered. Um, I was doing interviews with Timothy Finley, actually a series of interviews with him leading up to his death. And we were writing back and forth. And I remember him saying to me that it's in the doing that matters. And I was doing the interviews as part of this, uh, this academic work I was doing, as part of a PhD, actually, in a previous life. And it, it made it real. It made all that work real. And the questions I was asking at that time were questions for any artist to consider, like, you know, how, <clears throat> how do you know when you're there? What does it mean to know yourself? Things like that. And it made it alive for me. And so at that point, I knew I had to stick with it. And soon after that, I got into documentary filmmaking. What's been the most rewarding part of documentary filmmaking so far? Finishing. <laughs> that's, that's the real, um, crossing the finish line. You know, I spent a long time doing a film about Canadian singer-songwriter Ron Sexsmith. Uh, and that did uh, very well, you know, it was for HBO and it won audience choice at South by Southwest. And it was that journey, I think, with Ron um, through the process of making his record with Bob Rock for me that, that made that um, really quite moving. Tell me a bit about the current trilogy you're working on. What's the most exciting part about that? Well, so now I'm in London, I'm basing out of there, and I'm doing a series of videos to support an upcoming record release by um, Nikki Haslam, um, socialite, interior designer, celebrity. Uh, and he's put together a record that involves various, you know, singers and writers, everyone from Bob Geldof to Brian Ferry to Rupert Everett, and the list goes on. So I'm doing a trilogy of three videos to support that. Uh, one of which we did last month, and the next one is for the Brian Ferry track, Illusions, the Marlene Dietrich song, uh, and then there'll be another one after that. How did you get involved in the project? Um, I, was, I met Nikki uh, through a friend um, in Toronto, Colette Vanden Tillert, and um, we've, just, we've worked together. Um, we, we've done a bunch of video work and probably some more projects coming up. Do you find it difficult to collect interviews? What's your process like? What do you mean? Like when you're approaching a project, where like kind of where do you begin? I start. Uh, I start. You know, I, I made a mistake early in my career, and I didn't do a master interview. And I was doing a sh uh, a short feature for CBC with Daniel Lanois at the Junos, and I spent a lot of time with him in the field, and we shot a lot of stuff walking through streets in uh, St. John's and all this stuff. And then it came to putting the piece together. I hadn't done a master interview. So for me, I start early on with my subject, and I will do what I call sort of the research interviews or the basement tape interviews. But generally, they become some of the best material because we're both approaching it for the first time. So there's that element of curiosity and discovery that's playing out you know, in the moment. So. And what's next for you? What types of projects do you hope to develop in the future? I hope to do another singer-songwriter. Um, um, exploring that right now, actually, in conversation um, in the UK. Uh, I think that's a go. It's just I, you know, I'm getting my partners and broadcasters on board, so I'm excited about that. Um, and that would be, in some ways, similar to the Ron film. It would, you know, do festival circuit and play here on HBO. And what Who is this singer-songwriter? I can't say. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, he's from the UK, he's famous, and he's Irish, but he's not Bono. How intriguing. <laughs> and what <laughs> advice would you give to someone who's wanting to follow in your footsteps? Oh, God, I, I, that's hard. Um, you you, you want to make a lot of mistakes. That's true. You want to learn. I mean, it's, it's a bit cliche. I know people say it, but it's how you manage that, the failures and kind of reposition and learn from that. You want to make some mistakes early on. 
and uh, then move on from those, you know. Um, but I would say, you know, stick with it. The money will come eventually. <laughs> it, it will come. Um, but you have to just follow that passion. You need to identify a passion early on in it. And, and I think if, if you can't find that, then you need to look elsewhere. Um, but it is sort of coming to terms with that, what that is. What is the it for you in the work? And if you can, if you can find that or sense it and chase that, then you're on to something. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on your projects online? Uh, people can go to my website. It's feltfilm.com. And there is also, um, I guess there's Wikipedia, <laughs> right? There's stuff like that. Google, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Douglas. Congratulations yeah. on all of your projects and best of luck with the ones to come. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto.